What is up you guys welcome back to my channel it is baby day i get induced today um today is december 15th it is 10 32 and i get induced at 4 p.m i have to call the hospital at 2 to make sure that my room is ready um baby's in the shower right now i'm waiting on him to get out so we can go ahead and cook breakfast together um yeah i'm super excited and I don't have two meltdowns already because I miss my voice so freaking much. I miss them a lot. Um, yeah, I haven't seen them since Sunday. Um, I dropped them off Sunday because I was having back-to-back -back contractions. And me and my husband went to the hospital. Um, baby boy was playing. He was he was playing the sight game. That's what he was doing, playing the sight game. Um, but yeah, so... So that's what happened. I went to the hospital. I dilated to a two. Um, yesterday I had my pre-op appointment. I had to fill out some paperwork before getting induced today. Um, my blood pressure was a little elevated yesterday, but I think it was just my nerves. So yeah, it was elevated yesterday. Um, but I just been drinking a lot of water. Got me some fruit yesterday. Um, and I just want to relax it, honestly. I did from a video, so I do have a video coming out tomorrow, which which is December 16th. So, yeah. Um, and I'm so dreading this freaking COVID-19 test. I have to get swapped in my nose, y'all. I gotta get swapped. And I ain't ready for it. But I gotta get it done. Um, I read on the website that they swap you when being admitted for labor. So, I'm like, great. Good job. Um, but I told all of my close friends and family, well, my close family, um, about me being induced today so everybody knows I'm not posting anything on social media because I just don't want to be bothered during labor, labor and delivery. I just want to have a peace of mind. I don't want a whole bunch of people messaging me, at, oh, is he here yet? Is he here yet? I don't want any of that, so, um... Whenever I do post, then he will be here. So, um, yeah, I'm not posting anything on social media. So, I'm about to get ready to eat breakfast. Babe cooked me my favorite. Kind of blurry. Egg, sausage, and bagels. So, that's all that's going on right now. Nothing really major. It is almost 12 o'clock now. So, I have two hour and a half y'all been having contractions oh I had to take my prenatals forgot to take my prenatals y'all look at these big old bills Hi, how are you? Good. How can I help you? Good. Um, I was calling because I have a scheduled induction today at 4, and I was told to call at 2 o'clock to see if my room will be ready. Okay. Hold on. Let me get the charge nurse for you. Okay. Hello? Hello? Yes, who's this? Good. Um, I was calling because I have a scheduled induction today at 4, and I was calling to see will my room be ready. They told me to call at 2 o'clock. Okay. And, um, yeah. But other than that, when the bed becomes available, we'll give you a call. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Talk to you later. 
show you guys it is 3.02 um, I got a call maybe 15 minutes ago I'm saying that I could come saying that I could come and head to the hospital so that's what we're doing now the devil's been trying it today but we're not gonna let him win are we baby not at all not at all What is up you guys, so I am at the hospital, um, I been here since 4 o'clock, maybe what time is it? It is 6.20, I got my IV done, um, I got my COVID test. <sighs> I said nobody will be coming here. Um, I got my COVID test done. They just checked me. I'm still two centimeters dilated. Um, what else? Um, they just did an ultrasound to make sure he was still head down. And um, they said they're gonna probably start with the balloon to get um, things going, and then they're gonna probably put a pill in there. Pill, um, set my service and soften a little bit more. And um, what else? Oh, and then after that, they're gonna start on Pitocin to get things started. So I got the hard parts out of the way. Now I'm just about to see how these contractions are about to go. So yeah, I'm just giving you guys an update. I'm just hooked up to the monitors and stuff and like I said I'm about to just sit here and relax I finally calmed down because when I first got here my heart rate was my heart was racing um, my blood pressure is great um, and I'm just keeping my family updated um, I miss my boys I cannot wait to get up out of here so I can see my kids um, but yeah, so that's all that's going on now. So y'all back to pull his little cut out. <laughs> back. No cut, it's a brick. You, you said it's a brick. It's a brick. <laughs> So you guys, it is 1.58 p.m. and um, I'm dilated to a 5, I think. Oh, last time it was a 4 to 5. Um, I got my epidural and my doctor is outside now about to come and break my water. So hopefully that'll get things speeded up. I'm not any in any pain whatsoever, of course. Um, 
but I have been getting a lot of rest. And um, yeah, I just wanted to come in and check in. So you guys my prince is here um <clears throat> what time is it it is 906 and he was born at 757 he weighs six pounds ten ounces he is 20 inches long um <clears throat> I had I did not come back because um after I got my epidural um maybe like an hour or two um <clears throat> I did I jumped from an eight and then maybe like a couple of minutes later I was at a ten but I was feeling so much pressure. I was feeling so much pressure and it was hurting so bad and it was like they was coming back to back. So yeah um, right now we're still in the um, labor and delivery room. We're waiting for my um, the feeling of my legs to come back, and then we're gonna go. Um, I have to go to the bathroom for the first time. Fun, right? Um, and then I guess we're gonna go to the mommy and baby suite. Um, thanks to my wonderful husband. He was so amazing this whole entire time. And baby boy is over there. I don't know if y'all can see him. He's sitting under the little warmer and he looks just like his brother. I mean, he looks just like him. But um, I'm doing fine. Baby's doing fine. And yeah. 